Okay, guys, uh, good morning. Now, uh, I want to introduce about one important topic that all of us do we have to know. For example, we have to know about the, um, the personal pronoun. Yes? Now, remember that we have three kinds of personal pronouns. That they are the subject, we are going to work about them, the object pronoun, yes? And what is the other word? The possessive pronoun, yes? That are, those are subject pronouns, subject pronouns, and, sub and possessive pronouns. Those are the three of them are personal pronouns. Now, I need that you tell me. Uh, oh no, uh, you have to remember about we have three kinds of people. Of people that are the first person, the second person, and the third person. Yes. Can you remember about which one of them is going to be? The first person is going to be I. That is for me, myself. The person who is uh, who is talking to the second person that's going to be not me it is going to be apart from me. For example, you, we, and they. Perfect. Remember, we have you is for you or you. That's directly to one person that is going to be, that is not going to be me. For example, you say, I saw you. So I, myself, you, the person, yes, or you, that is among um, a group of people, yes, perfect. We, that is you, and myself included in one group, for example, we are a big group, for example, that is an example. And they, it is not you, it is not me, it is another kind of people they have, for example, they, great. Now, we have at the end, and the third person we have he, he, and he. Perfect? Great. Remember, he is for, for men. One man, two men, three men, four men, one man. Great. Plural is men, singular is, is man. The same happened with she. He is with her. Woman is one woman. Two women, three women, four women. And it is, and it is for something that is normalized. For example, a dog, a car, an institution, and a, and a school, and a table, a board, a marker. They belong to it. Perfect. What we mean with the object pronoun? Remember that in a sentence we have I tell. Him about the task, for example, or about the homework. Yeah? So, remember, here, what is the subject? What is the person who develops the action, who, do, who does the action? Yes, I, perfect. Now, that is the subject. That is the subject. What is going to be the verb? What is the verb? The action that we develop or the subject develop, that is perfect. Tell. Tell is the action that the person develops. For example, I tell him what is going to be. Him is going to be the object. That, that is the, I know that it is a person, but we have here to recognize that it is not the developer of the action. It is he, in that case, he received the action. For that reason, that is the object pronoun. Because the person is, is not going to, to work as, an, as a subject, no. He works as an object. Yes? That is the action. Perfect. Now, remember. For I, if I know the, the action, I receive the action. You told me that um, I know. Remember, I'm, I'm complete with another sentence. If I am the action, but you are the receiver, I told you that is right. We, uh, 
for example, you say, teacher, you told us, you told us that the, the homework is going to be in groups. Yes? Good. Today, I told them, for example, I said to teacher Jaime, hey, I told them that we have to introduce the, the multi drama for the cultural week. Yes? It's not for going to be for the other person, it's, going, it's not going to be for me. It's where I'm talking about, about them. I said to them, to another kind of spirit of people, that it's not going to be the person that, that I'm talking to. No. Wait, if I ask him, I told him, as the, as the example that I go here, she, I told her, yes? You say, I told him, when you are talking about the, the receiver is going to be a man. And I told her, you, you use her when the person is going to be a, uh, a woman. Yes? And um, in the case of it, it's the same, yes? Yes? So, what is the possessive pronoun? That is going to be about the possession, that is going to be proper of a person, of a subject that we are going to talk about. That is example. I, you say, uh, teacher, uh, who is this marker? No, my marker is this. And uh, this is mine. This is mine. So you have to use my marker as a possession of me, or my possession, and in, in an answer, that marker is mine, or a, or a, or a sentence. For example, when we are going to talk about you, you have to say your, your marker, yeah, you, you know, your books, or your shoes are, are dust, yes? For example, we have all us, the hour, or hours. In what case do we use which one? We have our, our classroom is going to be the best of the culture week, for example, yes? Um, oh teacher, that is ours, that is ours, but because, uh, because it belongs for us, to us, okay, that is ours. You have to use about them, we use their, or theirs, yes? Teacher, um, their ball is going to be, it's going to broke, it's going to break, sorry, it's going to break the window. Took this, yes, or theirs, hey, that ball is, is from theirs, or theirs ball is going to break, yes, yeah, it's going from theirs, that is what the position of uh, completely belong, yes, what we are going to talk about him, he, you, you, are, you talk about the position of him, or his possession, he, uh, teacher, his notebook because he's a is a is a notebook of a, of a little guy, a man, okay, a man, yep, but it's a boy or a woman, a young or adult, or a woman, inferior. I mean, his is for the same.